Hey you, welcome to my channel. I'm Camille. I will be straightening my hair. I'm going to use this Paul Mitchell Humidity Resistant as well as a silk finish. I will use multiple sections so that I can thoroughly saturate the product perfectly. The best I can. And always clip up everything that is not part of the section. And I do not listen to the bottle as one to two pumps. I use what is needed for the hair section I am working on. And I always start toward the root area so that I can thoroughly protect that fresh growth hair. Whereas the ends are more of the older length and is probably on the brittle side. I could proudly say when straightening the hair, none of the, the not too much dead ends were coming out whereas previous attempts you see majority of that so anywho when i approach making multiple sections when applying the paul mitchell product i like to do it small sections and sometimes large sections like here the temples are separate because there's sometimes a big portion and i can work with it better whereas the middle section I'm gonna to have to do horizontal small parts going toward the front because I want to pull it back and brush it backwards toward the back of the head so that it doesn't tangle too much the next day and the day prior if I ever get to straighten my hair other than the next day after this wash now, tangling is essential and adding extra is always needed to the areas that you feel still need some protectant. Clean off the hands, read the bottle again just to see how great it is. And I'm going to show you the fallout that I get from brushing, detangling, and all that jazz. Not so much during this because majority of the hair was falling out while detangling in the shower so not that much during this application of hair fallout well the left is the brush i believe and the other one is detangling with my fingers so i add that to my little guy however the next day i did not do it but the day after i did but this is the next day nice wavy frizzy hair but the next day you see how more frizzy and i think it's a bit on the dry side i should have but i did not add more of the palmetto product on it but it smelled delicious however again i will not be showing you how i straighten my hair but i will show you a little piece of it see this is a little mini strainer that I will be using to demonstrate, but I will not be using that to my entire head. So take a small section in the front and then separate the rest. Brush it through, always detangle. I'm gonna make three sections. The smaller section, the better when straining your hair. It's, it works. So, I brush it through a different comb, not the blue one that I was showing you, and I just run through the root area multiple times and then go down slowly. The slower you go, the better, the less amount of heat you are applying to your hair. And as always, have the comb be followed by your straightener so that it gets the tangles out, the curls are a little bit taut, before it gets strained which is a bit of a struggle especially with long hair sometimes sometimes you wish someone could help you but sometimes when you want a hair straightened they're busy so gotta do it yourself um technique is not there i have no technique just run it through Maybe run it through it a few more times to make sure it is good, you know? 
because sometimes you see those wavy parts sometimes the straightener doesn't fully coat or heat up the hair to become straight so then you gotta run through it again anywho next to the next part same thing um, just comb it through start from the root area and slowly but surely do the rest and just just flip it back so it's out of the view and not gonna interfere interfere with your next part now I believe the front is always difficult sometimes because I have a little bit of kinky curly hair there that is more curly than the rest of my hair so I have to run through that area more than I would if it was the back of my head sometimes when I'm in the mood I tend to curl the ends because the curls of the ends aren't they're a bit on the kinky side and they don't cooperate quite well so it's it's a struggle but I'm just gonna straighten my hair completely straight no curls no waves no flip at the end at all so that's what I'm going to do and yeah so I'm gonna take what was it over three hours to straighten my hair and as always I always clean the strainer you should always clean your strainer once you used it because product that you've been using gets on it and it's best to use a clean cough or rubbing alcohol I believe would be best yeah so I go and straighten my hair however I needed to shower and I forgot to show you before it got partially wet so I wore my t-shirt it got wet I wore a bag it also got wet a little bit and I had through two clips and a headband to help prevent any water to come in so this is my straight hair with a little bit of some waviness to it because I did get it wet in the front area and the back but can you see the the, the dead ends on this I can not too pleasing so I kind of clipped what I thought needed to be clipped because it looked like it was about to fall off anyway and yeah that, that, that's, that's what I did and here is the fallout from that three hour something minute But yeah thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and as always embrace joy